when I explain my products, I usually talk about two different things. The first one is the fit, and the second one is the fabric. But there's actually a third feature of a pair of BFD jeans that is very important, and those are all the details. Uh, the details are essentially the backbone of my product. So that's why I want to guide you through the 10 most important ones. The most convenient position for this extra pocket is on the opposite side of the coin pocket. I really like the look of the five pocket jeans, so I didn't want my six pocket to be too visible. That's why I used only one layer of fabric and made it all the way up to the bottom of the waistband. And when you wear a belt, it's actually hidden. So that's why I call it the hidden six pocket. During the design process of the first collection, I was struggling with the coin pocket because I wanted to be original. Uh, the results were too tacky, uh, not convenient or just ugly. And I kept coming back to the, the basic designs of the historical brands. But then I realized there are some details that should not be changed. And the coin pocket is a perfect example of that. So I kept it like the original three big brands did it. Uh, 006 is inspired by Lee. The 016 has a coin pocket that looks like the Levi's one and the 710 coin pocket is basically the Wrangler version. The BDD patch is made from a cow leather from Italy and is vegetable tanned uh, in the natural color. Just like denim, this leather will transform and gets nicer and nicer the older it gets. The interesting thing about this leather patch is that the letters are embossed which means they are raised, they come out of the, of the ladder instead of being stamped in. Because the surface of the ladders is higher than the rest of the patch, they get touched more often and therefore get darker than the rest of the ladder. For the waistband construction, I've chosen a classic manual approach. This is the same technique you will find on vintage jeans. The bottom part of the waistband is stitched on by a chain stitch which goes all the way from the beginning to the end and it requires quite some sewing skills because the beginning and the end needs to be tucked into the waistband during the stitching itself. Then the top part is being stitched with a single stitch and that starts just under the fly then goes up to the top all the way around to the end of the waistband going down and finishes off in the v-stitch. The end of the V-stitch also marks the spot where the button uh, should be placed. So the back pockets. Uh, they're lined, fully lined actually, with a 12 ounce chambray. And most jeans that have back pockets that are lined only have a half lining. So that means the lining goes up till about here. Uh, but I've decided to fully line them to give it a bit more protection. The shape of the back pocket varies per BDD style, but they are never symmetrical. So you can see that, for example, this part is longer than this part of the back pocket. I do this to create a more dynamic visual look. Um, and in my opinion, that makes the, it makes the jeans look um, less flat and more interesting. The back pocket stitching uh, represents the bull's horns, which is also part of the BDD logo. The inseam is a great example of combining historical construction with innovation. Uh, I really like the look of uh, an overlocked seam, which looks like this. You have one visible stitch on the outside, and on the inside you can see the overlock. But I don't really like the look of uh, an overlocked seam on the inside because it's not very neat. So for that reason, for my jeans, I use the lap seam, which looks like this. And this is basically a construction where the two fabrics are, are folded into each other like this and then finished with a double needle chain stitch. Because I used one tonal yarn color uh, for the double needle, uh, on the outside it still has the look of the overlocked seam but on the inside it has the strength and the clean finish of a lap seam. The bottom hems are done with a Union Special Machine which is a chain stitch machine. 
And the machine doesn't fall, but it rolls the hems, which create a, a vintage look called roping effect. Then the ends of the chain stitch are manually uh, tied, just like a shoelace. The inside of the jeans is nicely finished and looks very clean. The reason for that is, is that I think, I believe that um, the inside of a pant is just as important as the outside. Like all the seams should be, should be nicely clean finished, tight, uh, no loose threads. And here you can also see in the inside of the pant, the hidden rivets at the back pockets. Uh, which are only visible on the inside and not visible on the outside. Uh, this is a construction that was introduced in the late 1930s uh, to avoid uh, scratching on, on, on saddles. There is a big variation of different yarns to be found, uh, divided over three colors, two thicknesses and two SPIs. SPI stands for stitch per inch. The reason why I use uh, so many different yarns is that it creates a certain depth. Um, here you can see for example at the back pocket that there are uh, three colors and this is a thinner yarn than the other two. If I would use let's say one color and only one thickness it creates a very flat look in my opinion while this creates almost a sort of uh, 3D look. Uh, a good example of different SPIs can be found on the waistband uh, where the top uh, has a lot more stitches per inch uh, than the bottom. This also contributes to a more interesting look. I really love labels but only on the inside as you can see here and they also should have a purpose. This label, I call it the main label, shows that it's made from the brand BDD. This is, this is basically the logo. This label shows that the jeans are created in Holland but are crafted in Japan. I really want to emphasize on the fact that I designed them myself here in, in Amsterdam but that they are made by Japanese craftsmen all the way back in Kojima. Then we have the indigo label. It shows the molecule of indigo and I use this in every garment that is indigo dyed. The fit label is quite self-explanatory style, fit and leg. The buttons are die cast and the back parts are branded with the BDD letters just like the rivets but only on the inside because the outside should remain clean. So these were the 10 most important details of a pair of BDD jeans. Thanks for watching. For more info go to the BDD website.